The South Downs Way is a long distance footpath and bridleway running along the South Downs in southern England. The trail runs 100 miles from Winchester in Hampshire to Eastbourne in East Sussex. Join me as I navigate the chalk bridleways and rolling hills of the South. Check out some of the greatest sunsets and sunrises I've seen to date and interact with some wonderful people along the way. So, I've gone through two of these. It's pretty weak, really. They're just the straps that hold my gaiters on. But luckily, I got in touch with uh, Montaigne and got him to send me a couple. So I don't sell them separately. And I thought, you know, with it being over all this sort of ground, they're going to give way. But they really should make them out of something a little bit sturdier. That's gone... This one's about to go, so I'll swap these out as soon as they're on the halfway point. All right, back in the game. Got a bit of a situation in here. So I'm gonna stick a compede on that. What have we got in here? Now just anywhere where there's a hot spot, I'm just gonna stick a compede on, cause we're gonna crush it today, try and get another 30 miles done. It's only around here that I can feel it, so. I'll just stick some on there. There we go. No trace left. Bit of sun cream on face, sun cream on back at neck. Compede blister where I needed it. Suitably refreshed. Slept well. Slept well, feel better. There's so much to do with your kip. That's what it's about. That's what this adventure is about, just keeping in places like that. No tent, sleeping bag. I kept waking up and just, the moon would be in different places, bright as huge. Just arcing over that in the distance there. Oh, legs take a bit of, I've done some stretching and stuff, but the legs take a little bit of getting, getting going of a morning. Ooh, it's, a it's a glorious day, there's a lovely breeze as well. Look at this look, yeah. <clears throat> Common mugwort. Lovely herb. Oh yeah. South Downs way this way. Wee -hoo -hoo. Back on it. So it's half past six. Priority. I've only got a few glugs of water left. So priority is getting some water from somewhere. That's a good little mission to have. I would say we're there or thereabouts on the halfway point. So 50 miles in, 50 miles to go. So I'm gonna finish earlier, I think. It's pretty nice though. And get a good few miles in this morning while it's still cool as well. There's a lovely breeze, feeling good. About to deploy stabilization devices. Yeah, right, lads. Yeah, we've got plenty of water today. Electrolytes. Uh, anyway, I'll see you later. Oh. How's that stain? Just gravity, I guess. Classic. Yes. Drinking water, Ed's going in. I mean, it's only early, I'm not that hot to be honest, but why not? Fill the bottles here. Just 
sun's hot now. It's not even that high in the sky, but whew, it's warm. It's another day of weather warnings for heat. So I'll be chucking plenty of water down my neck. I've just gone wrong a little bit. It's only by a few hundred meters, but you don't, I don't have to kick myself when I go wrong. Oh, you idiot, Hazy, come on, you're better than this. And then you're not better than this, obviously. And back we go to this little conundrum of a gate setup that found me out. I'll show you. Look, there ain't no signs, you see. There's no signs, and when there's no signs, I normally just assume to keep going on this path, but um, it won't. Eee, it's through there. So I would have assumed just keep going on the path, unless it tells you otherwise. Uh, there is no sign for it. Restricted byway. Uh, here we are, look, back on these yellow nuggets. I think I'm a fan. I've been converted. Come on. One mile, please have coffee. Worthington, what did it say? I forgot what it's called already. On fizzy noggin. I've got a fizzy noggin. I've read some and I can't even remember what it was. Workington, Worthington. Ah, oh, mate. Oh well. One mile away. I did read. I remember that bit. One mile away. Please don't just be a real. Well, do be a cute village. That'd be nice. But please, for the love of Jar, have a cup of Java ready for me. I'll have an oat milk latte, please. Just have a coffee for me. I don't care about food. I do. I'd like some food too. It'd be nice, but priority for me. I've got water sorted. This hike is brilliant. I've not really, I've never felt thirsty. I've never worried about not having water. It's just all been very, 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 very well organised. I've been hiking a good few hours and I've not had anything to eat. Or I need caffeine, and that's what I want. So there's the sea, the sea is on that side, and I'm sort of walking along this ridge, and it's, uh, look at that. It's ever so pretty, isn't it? The south. It's winning me over, is the south. It's definitely winning me over, I like it. It's not much different to, uh, <laughs> no, but come on. I like this heat stroke talking. I was going to say not too different to Yorkshire, but come on. I've dropped down off the tops now. I'm following this track. And the heat. Woo! There she is. Look, can you look at her? Because I can't look at her. Hurts. <laughs> Hurts when I look at it. So, I can't. I can look at it through you. There you go. The sun. La sun. Uh, El sun, actually. Loads of brambles. If there's no cafe in this village, that's me. Bramble time. Bramble, I've seen apples. There's all sorts of like fruits and stuff out. I'll just nosh on all that because I can't be bothered making a meal. I will do if it comes to it, but I'm holding out. I'm holding out for this. That's a nice church. I like that they've used the flint in the walls. Gives it a really nice look, doesn't it? Lovely finish. This lot are savages. They've been going all night. Look at the feet. Trussed up like little Christmas hams. <laughs> <laughs> and they're raising money for charity. What's the charity? It's called Head Up. It's called Head Up. Which is a military mental health charity. And it's a military... You can hear what she's saying. What's your name? Uh, Georgia. Georgia. It's a military mental health charity which 
you can follow here and I'll leave links below. Will it, how long is it, will it be open and, and live? Um, it's going to be live for about two more weeks because we've got a couple more events coming up. So. Link below, give what you can. Thank you. Yes. Fizzy poison. <laughs> I'll take it though, it's good. After the heartache of uh, that little village not having any place to have out to eat or drink, I was a bit like, oh, waves ca carry on. And then, heroically, my mate who just lives literally 10 minutes from the car park I was at said she would bring me a picnic. <laughs> so I've had a sandwich and some crisps and I'm having a, a Lucasaid lifesaver. So spring in my step now. There's nothing I can't do and chatting to those guys back there who are doing the charity. I didn't get the actual battery went, so I was um I was gonna say, what was I saying? Oh yeah, a few people down there and I was sparked out under a tree waiting for my mate and <laughs> so this morning, when I woke up in that field at about six o'clock this morning, a group of people hiked past me on the path. I was like, hey, good morning. And I've just, it's like tortoise in the hair. And then I just resting under that tree and they've come from behind me. So I don't know how that's happened. I've overtaken them somewhere. And they're doing it all in a wanna, like walking through night and that <laughs> for a charity. Uh, 14 of them set off and it's just them heroes down there. One, two, three, four of them, I think. Four, um, four, man, four men standing, and ladies, women, girls, men, boys, the lot. Four humans still down there giving it some. Their feet are all in bits. Respect. Uh, I, got the I got the name of the charity, but I, don't, I didn't get the actual link for the person who's doing it, so I'm sorry. And they said it was going to be open for another two weeks, and... I don't think this video is going to be out before then, so I'm sorry and I will put just, I'll put the charity here because I can't remember what it was now but they'll, I'll look, I'll, I'll watch this back and uh, they'll tell me the charity and it's that, that's who they were the fundraising for so please check it out uh, and good luck to you all if you're watching this or if this is out now you'll have You'll have finished and I hope all of you finished it. I'm sure you did anyway. You've come this, this far. Inspirational guys. Good work. This guy look. Oh dinosaur head. Medic! I mean he's more he's worth more than just a quick medic, isn't he? Look, look at him. Proper dried out like. What is he? A slow worm? Right, I have to turn you guys off because this guy. I think a few, maybe two electrolytes, bit of water, maybe a cuddle, it'll be reet. When you're hot, and I'm hot, and all your water's hot, like my water's gone all hot, and you can see the sea, I tell you what, it's making my mouth water, even though I know I can't drink it because it's sea. It does make your mouth water, I just want to be in the sea so much, and it's... It's like I'm just too far away from it even to make a detour to it, so... That's the cruelness of it. That's the, the cruel twist of fate. And there's no, like I've said before, there's no like rivers or lakes or anything to dunk in. Oh. And as someone who loves a wild swim, it is torturous to be so hot without the option of dunking. Uh, the next tap I get to though, I'm going to dunk in good hue myself all underneath it. And I'm hoping to get to Brighton today at the back, well on the outskirts of Brighton looking into it um, and I've also got friends in Brighton so I might I might say, do you fancy it? Come get me! Take me to the sea, give me some fish and chips, a couple of pints, dunk in sea <laughs> Can I say it your house? And then drop me back off from whence I came Or do we save it all for Eastbourne? And the delights of Eastbourne, I think that's maybe what you do, innit? So that, that so that first pint tastes proper nice. Mm. I know it's only middle of the day, but the thought of a pint now, not forget your 
IPAs and your beer and all that. Forget it. Uh, a lager, a cold lager in a frosted glass would go down. It wouldn't, it would just go gone next. It would go down like a granny on a frosty morning. <sighs> oh, dust cutter. Just to cut the dust of the day. Anyway, that's sort of mirage stuff, in it? I've been thinking loads about uh, slush puppies and cold lagers. Don't even get me started on the uh, these little inventions I've been making made with like alcoholic slush puppies. Watermelon and vodka slush puppy. Lager slush puppy? Why not? I'm here for it. Just slush puppy anything. <laughs> I'm losing it a bit, to be honest. Look at all these cows and drill. Every these big units scared under trees, aren't you? Yeah. Like me out in about out and about in it. Souvie in the old brain box again. Nah, I feel alright, feel hydrated. My Lucas aid was good and my sandwiches kept me going, so I've got no grumbles, it's hot. <laughs> it's a heat wave, of course it's hot, but it's just nice. I'd rather it be like this than like windy and raining. I'm happy with it. Should we have a look at lads? Come on. I haven't been bringing you much content, so this is it. You're in shadows, but I can... I'll can. i zoom in on you. You're a bit warm. Not so cocky now, are you? Not so cocky now, sun's out. Have you got enough water, anyway? Because welcome to my new series, giving farmyard animals electrolyte tablets. Oh, someone shot on his back. Let's get this, because this is... This is the content you've cut, like, this is why you're here, for this content right now. You don't get this on BBC, look. This lad here has been <laughs> lying down so long that one of his pals has just done a shit on him. <laughs> That's dedication, is that? Love it. I love your work. I like what you're doing, guys. Keep it up. See you later. Just because I know it's going to be said uh, that I should have made a joke about uh, a pat on the back. Oh, that's how you pat, like someone's doing a pat on the back with that cow. Because you can guarantee someone will be like, yeah, I should have said pat on the back. Look, look, guy. That's just the low hanging fruit when it comes to comedy. If I'd have said a pat on the back, it's like, well, it's obvious, isn't it? You can't. It's too obvious. How, if I'd have said that. So I'll leave that for you lot, but just, just to let you know, I'm, I'm aware of the joke of the pat on the back. It's not that I've just got away from there and gone, God damn it, I should have said pat on the back. Can we go back? Come on, we're going back to do the, 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 the pat on the back joke. It's not that, it's that I just, it's below me. Such obvious humour, yeah? I think outside the box. And the pat on the back was just too obvs. Uh, Please go, should I go back to go? Note to self, next time you see a cow with a full pat on its back, do the pat on the back joke. There's some here, you? guys. Clean backs, look. Pristine. They're quite nice, actually. Got horns on them. Uh, this is it. I've gone over edge. Totally gone over edge. Bird's eye potato waffle chops is what I am now. Streams of consciousness that don't make much sense. Look at these lads. I mean, should we do some jokes with these lads and see if we can still, see if we still got it? Uh, white cow, cows, uh, ghosts of cows. They're, there's nothing there. I'll look back at this and I'll look in there and there'll be, there'll be nothing there. Because they're just ghosts of them black cows that got too hot and passed out. Is that any good? I could do better, couldn't I? Oh my God, I'm so hot. It's one of them where there's just no respite, man. There's no way, there's no way to hide, to get, to get any shelter. So I'm just gonna keep batting on. I'm loving it though. I've really got into my stride on this uh, this little section. I'm enjoying it. See, being able to see the sea is lovely. They keep, there's a nice breeze every now and again that gets right under armpits and I enjoy that. Moo, I mean, ooh. Uh, so I'm just going to keep going along here and the next bit of shade that comes along I'm going to dip in there take on some water and just cool my head down <sighs> probably won't dip into Brighton actually but 
We'll see how we feel when I get there. Medic! Big up Walter Langmead. Lovely spot, mate. Lovely spot. Also a big up Thelma Molly. And Bridget. Rest in peace. Look at all these, man. And they're all beautifully ripe and tasty. Just at the sweet spot. So, mm, I'm gonna stay here. I'm gonna load up on these for a bit. Da, 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 da. <laughs> eee. Whoa, whoa, that was loud. I wasn't ready for it. Oh, it's got no latch. There's no latch, look, listen. No cluck clink. Mm, could be better. Does it need to be better? No, so it's fine. Medic! The tar back is melting. Look, bosh. It's warm, it's warm. <laughs> it's warm. Melting tarmac, melting my head. Oh, mate. Just saying hello to the cyclists. Old church down there. Can't do it, I can't take any detour. Any detours. Any other day I'd be down there. Like a flash. Not today, not on tarmac melting the hot day. Whew. I've just had to go with shirt off, man. I, shoulders are getting bunt. I might have to put it back on actually, but it was just so hot, it was clinging to me and just restricting me, so it's had to go. We'll we'll deal with it. I've got sun cream on now. There's some brambles, but it's a bit near a road. But I am hungry. Let's have one, eh? They can't stop us from having wad, surely. Oh, they're on form. Oh, that's good. Mm -mm -mm. There we go, mate. 40 miles. Uh, maybe do another 10 or 15. If we do 15 today, that's not too bad. That leaves us a... Uh, that makes us finish tomorrow. We're doing good. Doing well. Look at that, man. First bit of water I've seen in, like, a long time. Te Shall we have a look? That is tempting. <laughs> tempting to get in, but what's it like in there? It looks, oh, look how fast flowing it is. That's dangerous, is that? That looks dangerous. Looks a bit, look at how fast it's ro ro flowing on top. So that makes me think it could, you can see all the debris on top. It's swirling, running really quick around this corner. So it could be absolute turmoil underneath. You just don't know what's there. So I ain't gonna risk it gutted. Gutted, but not worth it, mate. Not worth getting into trouble with it, like, nah. I would class myself as a strong swimmer, but if you don't know me, it's not worth it. And that looks, look, it looks a little bit, there's, there's certain things you look out for. And uh, it's pea soup, so I can't see anything in there. And it looks to be running super quick and there's little swirls everywhere, which makes me think there's an undercurrent. So sack that, unless we can find a little bit like a little beached off area that gradually goes in. Otherwise, I'm going off this bank and I'm probably never coming back out, am I? Floating down to whatever sea it is. See you later. Hear it, medic! Come down here! Don't need a, there you go. Don't need a medic when you've got that gear. Ice cream, flapjack, coffee. From our mate over here. Wonderful. <laughs> Even just seeing it written down makes my mouth water. Can we? Do I? Do we? Shall we? Oh, mate. Like, I don't know. I'm not a professional or anything really. Except landscaping, I guess. Take my advice on landscaping. But. Anything like this, like life stuff, don't, just do as I, just don't, you do you, okay, don't do, just because you see me doing stuff, don't do it yourself, and this is me laying the groundwork before getting absolutely pissed, <laughs> no, not really, not really, oh, you're getting all clagged up with stuff, I don't have out to wipe you, oh well, look, if I get to this place and they sell uh, cold beers, it's about four o'clock, how am I not going to have one, 
I might have to, I'm going to have to, alright? But you shouldn't really, if it's a heat wave, you shouldn't really be having beers and then hiking. Uh, but yeah, maybe you can have one. If you drink a lot of water, either side of this beer, <laughs> you're allowed. This is just getting it like, you know, for them people who are like, you should be doing it. Come on. Come on, you're not going to deny me a crispy cold beverage, are you? We're at the half, well, we're well, we're over the halfway mark, aren't we? And we're doing well, so why not? <laughs> I'll tell you why not, because you can't stop at one, you'll have another and another, the next thing you know, you're bladdered in a youth hostel, miles away from your, your destination. Which wouldn't necessarily be a bad thing, I'm all up for that sort of gear as well. Like I said at the beginning, it's leaving yourself open to spontaneity, but... Which is fine, but when you've got people who are going to be like meeting you at the end and stuff, it's not your, it's not on you then, is it? Anyway, let's see what they're saying. Fall on my feet here, look. You fossil, mate. You fossil in middle of nowhere. I didn't see it coming. Didn't see this coming, did I? What's that you say? Just an ice cold can of neck oil, Beaver Town. 4.3% session IPA. Yes, please. Also, yes, please. Let's get shoes and socks off and get into this. Sorry, Northern Monk, but any port in a storm, and it's stormy in the port, is Beavertown Neck Oil Session IPA. Hallelujah. And it's cold, for, straight from fridge. Uh, blah, blah. OMG, let's go. Oh my god. <laughs> that is the spot. That it's, the, oh, it's carbonation making me crack. It's not that I'm emotional about drinking a beer. Come on. For now, I'm going to sit here and maybe chin a couple of these absent friends. I'm having another. Another one of them. People are invested now in whether you whether you make it or not. <laughs> they, yeah, I think so. They will be, won't they? Look at this hardcore stuff. <laughs> I mean, I don't know about hardcore, but that's mental, isn't it? Look. Good. I've got one blister patch on, <laughs> and that's the difference between walking all night long. Well done, mate. Just Look at this. Hey you. Hey you on there. Hey you. I've picked up a squad. You know, like the Pied Piper of Hamlin. <laughs> I've just picked up all these ramblers that are just following me. I'm trying to get away from them, but I can't. Look. And this is the crew from earlier that I told you about who were doing the charity thing and not even sleeping. Madness. So I'm just tagging along for a little bit. Oh my god, it's hot. 38 to go. 38 miles to go. In it hot. In it hot, though. So I'm just going to crank a few miles out with these guys for support. I'm the support crew now. As I say, link below to the charity. Check it out. So that was cool. I stopped off. I stopped in the old youth hostel for a couple of tinnies. And the... The guys that I saw earlier on on the hike, who were doing the, um, they're doing it all in a one a crazy bunch. They turned up, so I sat chilling with them for a bit, and then we set off hiking together, and we just done maybe a mile or two together. And then I forget your name, mate, but one of the girls was done in. Poor girl, she she was trying, she's doing. You're a legend anyway, mate. But blisters were too much. So they had to stop to try and get picked up and I've got to bounce, had to bounce because I've got to get the miles in. But if you're watching this any of you lot, it was a pleasure walking with you and I hope you, I hope you get to the end in good time and by the time you're watching this I hope you've fully recovered and your feet are all, are all nice and healed up. Um, much love to you all, great cause. Uh, but we're back, we're back solo hiking. It's uh, I don't know what time, it's nearly 7 o'clock, 8, 9, 10, so I'll maybe do two or three hours more and then see about getting my head down. Good job I didn't get my head down here because I just won't cattle. I'm feeling good. The sun's at my back which is a bit of a sapper but it's it's not as fierce now, it's lower in the sky. And I'm fueled off a slack handful of chips, a nice lolly, thanks to my new mates, uh, and a couple of cans, so I'm good. <laughs> I am good. Feeling strong. 
so let's just keep going and also they're inspirational because they're going to be hiking through the night so anytime I get tired I'm gonna use my new mates as inspiration look at this absolute potential bloodbath yeah it's a potential bloodbath we're dealing with is this way I've got to go it would be cool if I had to go that way and not through the c yes South Downs way <laughs> sorry it's not that I was scared of you or anything guys I just didn't want to upset you while you're having your grass eating your grass eating your whatever let's just call it a lucky escape for you lot all right <laughs> don't know how lucky they were what's these things here these are worth getting on camera these are worth wasting battery for what are you no oh, there's this gate it has look at this guys look at this not shut open there's whatever they are geese pigeons whatever they, whatever they are can get out come on guys be better look not hard, it's not hard just to there you go look hens of sorts all right lads all right mad let's have a look at her let's really have a look at her eh? nice wonderful patina years of use the wood's gone a little bit now it's special on wood let's have a listen silent that was my phone going off not the gate will you close that oh, come on phone whoever you are let's listen to this yes beautiful you're welcome oh look at that it didn't pick it up as good on here but bright pink absolutely stunning beautiful <sighs> sun's gone down now so it's a lot cooler but my legs are giving in <laughs> so i'm just gonna find somewhere to bivy and then just get my head down not bad at all Whew. this is my view <laughs> over that way you can't see anything over that way there's a little bit of sun going down i've just jumped over here into this field um oh i can see the moon just coming up apparently there's gonna be a meteor shower tonight so every time i open my eyes up i'll get a little glimpse of that as i drift off i'm just gonna have a little camp meal you don't need to know about that do you? i'm just gonna eat that get the calories in me and get to sleep and that's it another night done map time will happen should i give you a shadow map time down here <laughs> i'll leave i'll leave you with map time and i'll check back in with you tomorrow come on focus map time right here we are Welcome to the future and welcome to the very professional, shambolic really, map time. Right, I've worked it out mate, I've done research, I've put some time in and this is where I camped, I think. This is the road with all midlife crises flittering past. So we woke up here, cracked on, of it road. Uh, this is that bit of water that I was like, oh maybe I'll get in there but it looked too fast. On I went, filled my water up, jobs are good and still can't really remember, if I'm honest. Cracked on, F. So I crack along here, can't remember what I was doing or where I was, or anything like that. Now, the dudes who I who passed me in the morning and then I sort of tortoised and heard it, this is what I think happened here. I went, I headed towards Washington with the false hope of maybe a coffee or whatever, so I went down here. I must have gone down here, whilst, at the, whilst they were along here, and I've bezed it down here. Nothing open. So I've come down here to this car park, where I was wait I just sat under a tree waiting for Fern, and the crew turned up, so we had a chat under the tree. Fern turned up with my picnic, delightful. Cracked on. Um, up here, round here, can't remember mate, can't do me for it. <laughs> Something to do with, I'm sure, uh, maybe it was round here when I was watching the farmer herding his sheep, it was quite cool. Watched that for a bit too long actually. Um, maybe this is where I goofed and went down there, and then, but really you've got to go up here. But who knows? All I know is that when I got here, 
came over this bridge and there was a gadge in here like with a little he was just about to close up as well so I got an ice cream and, and whatever from here cracked on and then this is the youth hostel where I stopped for a couple of cans and then my mates caught me up and we had a bit of a natter and a, a chill out here and then I walked with them for a bit but then here I think they had to stop because one of the girls had to get picked up and so they were taking this route off the trail and so I carried on I thought I'll get a, a few more miles in which I did I uh, can't, remember, can't remember but I've worked it out and I think this is where that's where I am now that's where I'm camping so thanks <laughs> thanks for watching uh, if you wanna I mean like you do what you want but um, join me tomorrow or join me, on, join me on the next episode when you'll be seeing me the delight of coffee and all this stuff that I can't really remember. That's map time, thanks for watching, I'll see you again soon.